The Scallywag title is the newest seasonal title available to earn in Destiny 2 Season of Plunder. Just like any seasonal seal, there are 10 triumphs to complete, a lot of which are very easy. I'm going to briefly run through how you can complete each one quickly and earn that new title before any of your friends. Bungie have recently made a couple changes to how the seal is completed. One makes it much easier and one makes it a little harder, but hopefully the latter is more of a bug than a change, but we'll discuss that in due course. We'll start with the triumph that has been changed. Salty Smith now requires you to unlock 3 out of the 6 weapon patterns for Season of Plunder. Until very recently, the requirement for that triumph was actually to craft each of the seasonal weapons which would take a lot longer, especially given the drop rate for the red borders. To craft a pattern, you need to complete Deep Sight, that's the red border, for 5 of the specific weapons. Do this for 3 weapons to complete the triumph. Hopefully we can get more red borders each week as we unlock more upgrades for the star chart. The next 3 triumphs are time gated and can only be progressed weekly as the season goes on. Saviour of the Seven Seas will progress as you complete the weekly seasonal story that arrives every week reset. Similar to last season, it looks like there will be 8 of these. With Full Sails requires you to purchase all of the upgrades from the seasonal grid at the star chart in the helm using a repute. Currently we can only get 2 each week from completing seasonal challenges that are pretty easy to complete. If we keep getting 2 each week, we will be able to complete this by week 11 of the season. Summer Full Signals is another easy triumph that will progress weekly. After you complete the story segment for that week, you'll be able to head to the ether tank which is located on screen and listen to the dialogue to progress your triumph and complete it by week 8 of the season. Beacon's Guidance requires you to use each of the treasure beacons to locate treasure. These are required by ranking up with the star chart in the helm. These beacons give an easy quest to follow with a few steps and a pirate riddle for each one. Once you reach rank 16, you will get the final treasure beacon and you can earn your exotic reward which I won't spoil. Completing each quest will award you your triumph. I've already reset my rank and completed these so that's why you can see them on screen. Cruise Control requires you to summon each of the three crewmates 15 times as your first mate. To summon any of the crewmates as your first mate, you must first purchase the upgrade of the star chart that lets you hire the crewmate. Then you can purchase the corresponding first mate upgrade, but that can only be purchased once you have already got 5 others unlocked. Once you have your upgrade, open up your captain's atlas in your quest tab and you can see that you are now able to choose a first mate. By selecting one, this means that any time this crewmate is summoned in Catch Crash or Expedition, they will become your first mate. You can only choose one at a time and it can only be done in orbit so you can't switch them in the middle of an activity. Crash Chorus requires a completion of Catch Crash on Master Difficulty. If you're primarily a solo player, you can easily find a group using the LFG Fire Team feature on the Destiny 2 Companion app or on the Bungie website. The power level for this is 1600, so I would recommend being at least 1580 before hitting it. Complete one run to complete the triumph. Scourge of Themis Cluster only requires you to defeat each boss in the Catch Crash activity. These bosses are on a 3 week rotation, so make sure you don't ignore this triumph until the final week. To complete Fabulous Wealth, you need to deposit 250 treasure in the Expedition activity. As you progress during Expedition, treasure orbs will drop from the drill. Pick them up and throw them at the treasure hoard to progress the triumph. You should be able to complete this triumph easily as the season goes on. The final triumph to complete the seal is Robber Baron. Defeat 50 ruffians in the Expedition activity. Ruffians are unstoppable champions that seem to spawn around 3 minutes after activating the drill at each location. Defeat these to complete your triumph. However, it should be noted that if you finish throwing your treasure too quickly and start escorting the treasure hall, everything will despawn and the ruffian won't even get a chance to spawn in. Bungie has unfortunately removed the timer in Expeditions, so you can't see the time anymore. Hopefully that is just a visual bug which will be fixed soon and will make the triumph a little easier to complete. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you were able to learn something from it. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. Good luck on completing your seal. Thank you so much for watching, hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.